Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Anime Monday, the place where you get rid of the Monday blues by joining me and my uh, partner, Mr. Fathead, Hello. for, uh, well, very, very interesting anime, an anime that I personally have never seen before, but I've heard so many glorious things about. I've watched like twice, I think. And I've, uh, one of my all-time favorite voice actors, Steve Bloom, well, he, this is one of his most iconic roles that I will soon become familiar with, but... He's a pop-up. I don't know, he's a pop-up in the first episode, he, he does in the second. Second, second episode. episode. Okay, well, my, my Steve Bloom fix will not be met in episode one, but it'll come. It'll come. Uh, we are watching the English dub on, on Netflix. Netflix, so if you would like to watch the first episode of Gurren Lagann entitled Bust Through the Heavens with Your Drill, go ahead and pause this, uh, go to Netflix and pull up this particular episode, and if you've already done that, go ahead and press play now. So I, this Rock is and my, theme. This is like me, like, I, this is one of my favorite like yes. anime opening opens like of all time. I love it so much. See, I'm gonna let Fathead kind of take the lead on this more. I'm never seen this. I kind of want to just. Uh, what, what? What was that? It's a little robot. But it had like a face and. Yeah, you'll see. Okay. They all have faces. Oh, okay. is it like Bob the Builder type shit? No. Okay. That's Yoko, our main <laughs> gal. There's the character that Steve Boom plays on the right. <laughs> I, 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 I've heard him, I've heard him do the voice of, of him, and yeah. it kind of leads me to believe that that might have been the character. Uh, yeah, you'll see that these robots can buy and stuff. So it's like Power Rangers. Uh, yeah, they, got, they get a Megazord thing. It just gets ridiculous. You'll see. Okay. This is the people that worked on Fully Cooley. Uh... It doesn't. No. Get, it doesn't get that weird. So, so it, okay, I'm about to say, the only uh, they worked on. They did Kill Our Kill on on the uh, the series that we uh, have checked out so far. The only one that I have never seen before, other than this one, was Fooly Cooly, or wasn't as familiar with the Fooly Cooly. So it seems like I'm just in the mood to be just shocked with this stuff. This is a fun series. Oh. It knows when to be really fun. It knows when to get serious. It knows when to be beautiful. Okay. So here, you'll see this opening. Okay. This opening is, uh, interesting, I guess. Space, the final frontier. <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> How you open? Is this Krypton? No. <laughs> <you'll see>. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, guys, if you, uh, battling a cold during co recording this uh, particular episode, so uh, if you hear me coughing, uh, I apologize. I guess these are bad guys? No. Are these the good guys? Yeah. Okay. This is like a, this is like a flash forward. A flash forward? Yeah, this is a flash forward. Oh, okay. What the hell? Yeah. So what is Gurren Lagann? Does it translate to anything? I don't remember. Um, it's the name Some of their, that's the are. name of their, I don't, I don't know. I'm not an expert on this show. No, I mean, like, some kind of, like, you know, expert on looking up this just, kind of thing. I, I, like, I, like I, I can tell you some Japanese wrestling stuff, like what it translates to, well, you know? you need to know that stuff. I don't need to know the name of the, what Gurren Lagann means. I just know <laughs> it's the name of the robot. Okay, okay. And it looks like they drill. I kind of... You'll, you'll hear, you'll hear what is up with these, <laughs> what's up with, like, civilization. Yeah. See, I don't want to bring any, like, I've never seen the show, but I know, like, one spoiler just because from seeing on YouTube and attending uh, Steve Bloom panels, the classic line from this show that he always oh. repeats. So I know something's going to happen. 
is going to have to do with that. And I don't want to say it because even though I've never seen it, it would still maybe possibly spoil it or be a spoiler for somebody. This is our main character, Simone. Wow. Yeah. Wow, they're very, very rude. Poor Simone. Dare I call them bitches? <laughs> I mean, that might offend a few they're, people, but they were, that, that, that's what they were being. They're a little mean. Man, we meet Kamina. Bro. <laughs> it's a bro, man. Can you hear the, the adult Gohan? Yes. <laughs> or Teen Gohan. That's uh, Kyle Herbert there doing the voice. I'm the great Saiyan man. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Call me bro. <laughs> well, it was during Gohan's stoner phase of high school. Wow. If we're a little quiet during this one, we apologize. Which my fat head here needs to take the lead a little bit. Yeah, you need to pay attention. Yeah, I'm paying attention. You need to take the lead in the commentary. So you'll find <laughs> out. Excuse me. Like, civilizations underground. You'll find out why. Okay. But they live underground. And they want to see the sky. They've never seen the sky before. Okay. What the fuck are those things? They're, they're mole pigs. Okay. <laughs> I think that's what they're called. So are they like in prison? Uh, kinda. You can say that. They're more in hiding. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's how physics work. Yeah, yeah, this is good <laughs> physics. It's a village chief. He wants so, to keep everyone safe, so he doesn't want him to leave. Uh-oh. That looks bad. None of these people have ever seen the surface. Yeah. Well, he has. So why doesn't he want them to see the surface? Like, what's his... He's trying to protect them. He, He's being strict because he feels like he's protecting them. You'll right. see why. You'll see. Okay. I'm, this is my turn to be that annoying guy who asks the questions. <laughs> Dang. You ain't no bro. <laughs> yeah, if it's gone, bro. Kami is all about the bro code. <laughs> is he legend? Wait for it. Dairy. Yeah, he, he could be the. He could kind of be. He could the, be Boris Stinson? Yeah, he kind of could be. It's a How I Met Your Mother reference if no one knows who Barney Stinson is. Yeah. That's where the bro code comes from. And he married Maria Hill. And then they got divorced. Oh, spoilers. Oh, God. Oh, God, I spoiled something. Yeah. You hear that. I, if, you don't, or if you weren't aware of it by this point, you kind of... You're, you're kind of SOL. It's kind of like hearing that, hey, at the end of... <laughs> like, no more spoilers. We need spoilers. Uh, that's a... Hey, everyone! Did you know that Superman can fly? There's a big spoiler for you. Simon's been orphaned, by the way. Yeah. Uh, collapsed and kills his parents. Uh -huh.
Mm, he's in the stockade. That's nice. That's. <laughs> Gonna manipulate this. We got we got boot though. Okay. Poor Simon. He's a depressed boy. <laughs> He's a depressed boy, and then fucking people are mean to him. Like the three little... Little rude bitches from earlier. Oh, shit. It's like, really, like, this is so... I love the animation. It's just, it's, it's so, like... Studio Trigger nowadays. I know this was done by uh, Gynex where they went under, but it's like the same team that moved uh, pretty much that went to. Oh shit! <laughs> that fucking chopped his bros <laughs> off, bro! Found a robot, bro. Ah, oh, dear. Fuck. <laughs> Damn. How about Kami is stands his ground, man? Tranquilo, Arsenal. Well, shit. What the fuck? This is what they're hiding from. Oh fuck. So you don't live underground. <laughs> Where else are you gonna hide? On the surface, taken over by these things. <laughs> Title card. And this is where the commercial would be. And now we're back from commercial. <laughs> You wonder if the, what the flag is. That is their flag, actually. That's their oh, logo. Oh, okay. That's from this show. Right on, right on. Here we find our main gal, too. Oh, spoiler. See why I think crash. Spoiler, but I mean, in a way, like, if you're watching... Out. If you're watching... Other than me, if you're watching this along with us, I'm sure you've seen Gurren Lagann before. Bro, this way. He's 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 kind of like too cool for school, you know. Yeah, Kami is really awesome. He's got some big cojones standing up against that, which is probably not the smartest way to be. This is bullshit. <laughs> You know, like this is made up, isn't it? <laughs> what a dumb yeah, dumbass. he's putting over the fact that he's got masculinity. That does make him a dumbass. Here's Yoko Littner, very famous anime girl. For reasons. <laughs> totally stealing his thunder. <laughs> She's famous for 
reasons. I don't, I don't even tell why, but... <laughs> <laughs> A little bit over sexualized, but a little bit, yeah. <laughs> How old do you think Yoko is? Uh, probably underage. <laughs> probably something that if this were the surface world, uh, he, he would be heading to jail. I think Kami is only like 16, actually. Okay, Kami's 16, but how old's what's her name? Yako's yeah, 14 years old. Okay, that's, you know, like, that's... It's a start Okay, 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 big, okay. In terms of the relationship... It's a big time jump. She's 20 by the end of the show. <laughs> okay, in terms of the relationship, it's not a felony. But in terms of how she's dressed in her age, that's bullshit. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, her, I'm not her, a fan. Her body, in general. Yeah, this is kind of... You'd almost think John Kay was writing this. <laughs> If you don't know who John Kay is, well, look it up. So I don't know if we missed it. These are, they're called Beastmen. Beastmen. Yes. You'll find out that the Beastmen have taken over the planet and humans have gone to hiding. They're half beast, half man, obviously. We, so they're almost it. like the, the the Titans, almost, kind of, in a way, weirdly. They're more like just people mixed with animals. Oh, okay. They're not... They're not... They're, they're Looks just like a in, there's, there's, pi there's piloting robots. Yeah, I can see that. Bro! This was Broan before Broan was a thing! <laughs> It's 2007. Yeah, but like now it's like a cliche. Like, dude, bro, it's like, it's like gone from being cool to becoming uncool again. You know what I mean? I love Somebody's a bro. That's a bad thing, according to some. Don't mess with that. Your GX Tag Team Championship. Yes, it's making noise. Oh. Uh, it's gonna be in the recording. You ding dong. Well, you know what? When you get cool shit like this, I just want to touch it. You should be watching the show. I'm watching the show too. You fucking they're they're <laughs> in a fucking thing with a face. What what more do I need to know? There's things happening. Simone's about the pilot. Yes, I'm very aware of this. Oh my god! <laughs> Believe in me. God, he, he... That's that's a famous line. Believe in me. Believe in the me that believes in you is a famous... It's pretty famous in the anime community. It's pretty well-known. So, I, I, so now I guess if I run across that, I, I get it now. There's two lines that they repeat a lot. The believe in the me that believes in you and just who in the hell do you think I am is Kamiya's like catchphrase. Just who in the hell do you think I am? Kami likes their people. It's kind of like in the uh, X nineties X Men. I feel like they tried to make a Wolverine have a catchphrase. Of, I go where I want to go because <laughs> he said that like twelve like times. That, yeah. But then, like he quit saying it. Oh shit! Wee! I don't know how they're still on that thing, but yeah. There was an extra bro if this were Japanese, though. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. Just came up with it. Just came up. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I mean, he's all about that bro code. <laughs> he, he is all about that bro code. <laughs> about the bro code enough that I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that don't like him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Pass me that joint, bro. 
I don't have that kind of bro. I like more like surfer bro. There's no conjoints. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. And then just call himself Team Gurren now. They just come up with the stuff Team on the Team Gurren needs to be uh, part of the OWL on Fire Perel. <laughs> hey, patience, honey! He's just learning how to pilot this damn thing! <laughs> I know we're life and death, but I don't see you doing anything! She's got a big gun. I don't see her doing anything to pilot. <laughs> the big gun helps. I I do not care for like I mean uh, it's just it, it it's kind of like I get it but I don't like it. What? Her design. Oh. I like it. It's very iconic. It, it's iconic, but it's like when you find out she's 14, it's just like... <laughs> That's anime. Yeah, I mean, Misty was walking around in Daisy Dukes at 10. Yeah, don't read the don't read the Japanese Pokemon manga. I'll tell you that. Oh, dear God. They, like, over-sexualize Misty. Oh, my God! Yeah. Oh. It's pretty notorious for that. Her, like, pants are, like, hyped up more. She's throwing off more. Oh, like, God, no more, no more. I'm, I don't want to hear more. Hell yeah. It kind of looks like Modoc. <laughs> that's never... That's another commonly... Said phrase, but, bust, through the heaven with the, bust through the heavens with your drill. Sounds like something you'd say in the bedroom. <laughs> Get some Gohan Super Saiyan noises. <laughs> he gets to come into this, into this anime and scream some more. <laughs> yeah. I know, like, so many... Uh, Actors that have done Dragon Ball Z and then went on to do other roles say, like, they love being part of DBZ, but good God, they're happy that they don't have to scream as much anymore. Yeah, I would be, too. That's gonna be hell on, like, your vocal cords. Well, I, I mean, uh, the the voice of Broly, you know, has, has said, like, you know, he, he could barely, like, couldn't talk for, like, three days after a Broly session. You know? Yeah. So... It's a pretty good shot coming up here. If I get to the surface and they see it. It's it's giant like, thing looks like a devil version of the rock's tattoo there. Wow. Simone's face says it all. Beautiful. May have seen it before. Dear God, that's a bad shot. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it's Buddha. <laughs> Whoa, the Japanese, what they were said in Japanese was worse I than mean, that. It's okay. This is very cliche, but it's funny. Of course, where Simone lands is very anime. Oh my god! <laughs> you know, but I'm, ha but I am happy for him after the way those girls were so mean to him. <laughs> I like how Yoko is just completely comfortable about it, though. Yeah, she's 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 comfortable in her own skin. It's fine. It's just the problem that, you well, know, this is, a, th th this is a, this is a. She's not too young, but, uh, yeah, um, 
can't go back. That to was the... episode one, and uh, we sure hope that everybody enjoyed it. We uh, appreciate you guys watching it with us, and we will be back next Monday. They're watching the credits now. Is there? So not really much else to look at. So uh, yeah. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>